Hi guys, I'm Joyce, and today I'll be entered in the Next Face Awards contest, and this is the look I'm doing. And if you guys want to see it, please stay tuned and watch. Thank you. Taking Max Off Ochre Paint Pot, I'm going to put that all over my eyelids, and to set that, I'm going to take Manny's Collaboration Palette with Makeup Geek and Beaches and Cream, and I'm going to use that to set it. And then going with Sora and Frappe, I'm going to put that into my crease as a transition shade and blend that out. Now I'm going to go in with Mars and put it into my crease to begin to create that cut crease that I want. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side and then I'm going to blend it all out until I get the desired look that I want. I'm going in with Mars again on an angled brush to define that cut crease even more and then I'm going to blend it out until I'm happy with the results. And now I'm going in with Beaches and Creams to just clean up the cut crease and get it ready for the lid color. Now I'm going to go in with Luna from the palette and I'm going to place that all over my lids and doing that same thing to the other side. I'm going to go back in with Mars and putting it in my crease and then I'm going to blend it out. Taking my Morphe 35N palette, I'm going in with a deep purple matte shade and I'm going to create a winged liner with it and to build up the color of it, just keep running it over the liner. In concealer foundation, I'm going to use that to clean up my winged liner to sharpen it up and then I'm going to prime my face with NYX's Angel Veil Primer and then I'm going to take the LA Girl concealers and the orange corrector and the green corrector to conceal my darkness and the redness on my face. I'm taking Too Faced's Born This Way foundation in light beige and I'm going to use one pump of it and dot it all over my face and then I'm going to buff it in with my Morphe M439 brush. Now I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Medium Light Neutral and I'm going to put it under my eyes on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, chin, and my forehead and blend it out with my Morphe G2 brush from the Gunmetal Collection. Going in with NYC's Smooth Skin Translucent Powder, I'm using that to bake all the areas that I highlighted with my concealer and then I'm going to leave that on for a few minutes and then I'm going to continue on to set the rest of my face with the powder. I'm going to bake my smile lines to avoid having my fine lines show through my foundation and then after a few minutes I'm going to sweep off all the powder. Taking my Cheekathon palette by Benefit Cosmetics, I'm going to take Hula and put it all over my cheeks and my forehead and my jawline to bring some warmth back into my face. Taking NYX's blush and taupe, I'm using that to contour my cheekbones and my jawline.
to define my contour, I'm taking more translucent powder and just using that to bake under my contour and leaving that on for a few minutes and then I'm going to sweep it off later. Now I'm taking Mars and Luna to finish up the under eyes and then I'm going to take NYX's blush in Ethereal and then I'm going to put that all over my cheeks on both sides. Taking my NYX Liquid Illuminator in Sunbeam, I'm using that as a base to make my powder highlight pop. Going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Glow Kit, I'm putting in the highlight on the areas where I put the Liquid Illuminator and where it would naturally highlight my face. I'm taking MAC's lip liner in Whirl and I'm going to line my lips with it and also fill them in. And then I'm going to take MAC's lipstick in Honey Love to put it on top. And then I'm going to conceal the edges of my lips of where I outline too much with concealer. I'm topping my lips off with NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream in London and setting my face with Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!